what is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is Anya and you're watching gaming in the dark in this episode we are continuing on with enigmatica 6 um, in the last episode I'm pretty sure we finished off bits of power and then we set up the refined storage which is actually going pretty well um, as you can see we have everything here and uh, I think we're still only like 10 11 percent full so that's pretty cool um, I just decided out of, of a whim to make the mining gadget um and as you can see i've made the upgrades i have silk touch but i don't know if i want to use silk touch it says there's an upgrade cost but i don't i don't know what that cost is um so i figured uh before i get into mechanism because that's what we said we would do today i figured before we get into mechanism i'm gonna quickly try this mining gun because uh, our mine is very vast and it, we've, we've mined in every angle of every corner at this point. Um, and anything that will make that easier is always great. Ow. Oh, so it mines in a one block. Which is actually fine if it... Jeez. Eight. Because it... So it has our... Uh, it, it has fortune tier three. First of all, this is the biggest diamond. What? Biggest diamond thing cluster I think I've ever had. So that's 24 diamonds. Just off the rip. 24 diamonds. How can you... How can you say no to that? Mining has never been more easier. Obviously, I still actually have to do the torches and stuff. But as far as mining goes, this is a breeze. Usually we have our, we mine in a 9x9 nine nine area, which adds speed, but uh, do you really need speed when you can just mine like this? Although arguably I can just, I think it's safe to say this mining gun is amazing. And once you've mined in this world for a minute a hot minute because we've been mining in this world for a minute now uh we have you have basically all of the materials to make it it's not that hard to make um would i say it's an early make it might be if i'm being honest didn't mean to do that okay boom 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 so we have 24 diamonds from those two three the that's not that great but we move Definitely have to have torches, have to add torches because, you know, mob spawning. I don't actually mind the enderman that much. So, now that I've had my mining fix, uh, it's back to our task at hand. Apparently I've... Oh yeah. And let me, let me redeem these. Jeez. Uh, 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 uh. Probably one of the re best redemptions so far. Upgrade light placer. Oh, that's awesome. And magnetic and magnetic magnet. These are these are very OP. I'm very happy with these. I'm gonna quick sidebar. I'm gonna add these because I'm definitely gonna forget I have them. Um, and then we're gonna go back into it. Anyway, now that we're done with our mining upgrades and our mining fix, we're going to get into mechanism. So, uh, I guess you have basic power re uh, p basic power generation, a material processing, what is this, fissile fusion production, advanced power generation. So, we're going to start with power generation, that's important. We do have our power, P-O-W-A. And we can use that, but we do want something that is going to hold because this has a lot, a lot, a lot of different um, machines and stuff. So I guess we want to make sure that we're running with the best possible power. Okay, so basic power infrastructure, heat generator. It'll be useful early on as a source of power to begin surround the heat generator with lava, <coughs> lava flowing or otherwise. The block itself may also be lava logged just as you would waterlog stairs. Or slabs. Is that are in contact with lava, the faster it produces energy. Okay, so we have a heat generator that runs with having lava around. Um, 
Oh, it's this one. Lava has a tendency to set things on fire, which some would deem undesirable. As a step up from heat generator, there is the wind generator. Even at sea level, this will outproduce the heat generator's passive mode. However, placing it higher in the world allows it to generate even more. Okay, so then you have the wind generator, but it looks like we need to start. We, we need to use the heat generator at least once. And then you have the gas burner. And then you have the gas burner, which... Truth be told, don't know, don't know how how tough I'm gonna be on that one. So let's go with the heat generator because it's the easiest to make, as well as apparently use. And that's made. And then this, we're gonna have to make the metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some stuff first. But I'm gonna make that, and then I'm gonna make some buckets because I'm gonna actually have to get some some lava. Okay, it'll be cool to find a way to pump lava into that, but. At this point, just to have it generate in power, it, it's it's okay. I'll take that. And it's done. Okay, we're going to need way more lava for that to be even a little bit efficient. So, uh, that's done. We're going to go over here because we need some mechanism materials to actually make the wind generator um, and the gas burning generator. They become more efficient, more productive, and cheaper to run. Focusing on benefits from the very start will ultimately pay off in the, run long, in the long run cool so we have the metallurgic infuser which i've never actually so we need the basic one first which is cool um so we need to make this one one two boom what cables is and you know what i'm just gonna redeem these and i'm gonna redeem these um what did I get? I get an advanced energy cube, which is cool. That's going to store all our energy. A chemical tank that has biomass in it. Advanced chemical tank. And then 32 blocks of coal, because I believe you can also use coal. Yeah, I'm going to throw all of that in there. Coal, actually, actually more efficient and better. So let's take this and put this, I guess, here. Um, and then I need to see what cables love our own mechanism. Basic universal cable. Or maybe I could just put cable. Okay. I mean, that works. Basic universal cable. Boom. And then you have advanced which I need an infusing alloy to use. Okay. Uh, so that, oh shit. Okay. And just like that, the, the basic cable is working. So I'm going to put this in front here. Put two cables here. So that this can start getting power, maybe. There we go. Wait, is this now receivable? What is going on? Input. Oh, boom. I was looking at the wrong line. I was being stupid. Cool, so that that has the basic setup. We have energy going in. Um, so far, everything's good. Let's get some more. I don't know how much coal we have. I know I'm not worried because I can always mine for a ton more, which is something I might just do. See, 40 is uh, it's a lot, but it's not that much at the same time. Is this an upgraded version of this? yeah but we need to make some of these infused alloys uh which means we need redstone and iron we're gonna just take a couple blocks and then iron what do i have i have so little iron geez i need to do another iron one i may have used too much redstone so we're going to let that work. And once that works, we're going to look at the next thing. Gauge dropper. Uh, I guess I haven't used that so far. I think I have. I, th I think I actually have a couple of these, but it's fine. Make another one. Um, enrichment chamber is another thing we're going to need, but we need some basic controller units, which is going to be Osium. Um, 
which we don't have much of, but I will take half a stack. We're going to start off with maybe 10 of these. We're going to need way more, but I'm just going to start off with 10 of these. But the reason we're also going to need way more is because we need to use these to then upgrade into the other alloys or whatever they're called. But for now, 10, 10 should be should be efficient enough for us to get the ball rolling also we don't have as much iron as i originally presumed we did and then we can upgrade them i'm gonna have to what is the cost of speed upgrade they look like this and they're not that expensive but again we need infused alloy which means we need Come on. Which means we need iron. Um, so I'm gonna take ten of these. Uh put that away. Just gonna wait for two of these to be done. Or maybe we should make at least one speed upgrade. Make it eat it just a tiny bit faster. Oh, we don't have osmium os osmium thing, and I don't have the uh is it in my backpack? I know that I have the hammer somewhere. I don't even know what I was doing anymore. Okay. Uh, the, the, the enrichment chamber is complete. And I'm just going to pop that down on its side. Right beside it. Not on its side. Right beside it. And then I'm going to quickly look at... Uh, why did I need the Osmian grit dust thing? I can't remember. And let's, let's, let's just redeem this stuff. So a rich carbon. This is probably going to be used to make a plate. Some steel casings. Oh, we have some energy upgrades. That's why I wanted to make an upgrade. I'm going to throw these energy upgrades. I'm going to throw two of them on this. And I'm going to save two of them. And then I said I'd make a speed upgrade. Uh, I don't have the hammer. Are you joking? I feel like I do have the hammer. Is it this one? No. Is it not this one? Yeah. Boom. Speed upgrade. Just gonna throw a speed upgrade on there. I think I think eight is the maximum. But you know, something's better than nothing. Um and then I guess it's just branching off to making more of these machines. Osmian compressor, uh What? I need two of these. The compressor is made like that, but that I have no more allo 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 alloy. I'm gonna pause that production for now because I need iron to start running back up in there. We're gonna need a lot more iron. Take this. Um, and then we have the electrolyte separator, which in and of itself is a, a doozy. And then we need buckets of lava. Okay. Got another advanced chemical tank with, I think, biomass is inside of it. Um, we got some more energy upgrades, it looks like. Uh, network reader. I don't know what any of that shit is. And a personal chest. I'm going to put this personal chest in here. Um, I can't. I'm going to need way more of this. But there isn't enough energy. Okay. Energy. Energy is done. Energy is, is depleted. Uh, I'm going to need. Two. Buckets of lava. That would do to make the crusher and then uh, geez that's too expensive for us right now and I've made that what else was there to make yeah way too expensive for us so can't make that and I think I mean it's not terribly expensive but at the, with, with what we have and what we need one two three four five I guess I could make it I think I have five I think I think I should have just enough to make it. 
I think I'm going to make this one and finish off on that. On that note. So we need call. 14 should do. Oh wait, this isn't accepting output. This is input and stuff. Not output and stuff. I don't know what the frick is going on here. Oh wait. Output, there we go. There we go. Now the ball bolt what? The ball is 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 rolling. Let me throw those in there. So we need five. And then actually what's that's doing that we need gold dust. Hammer one, two. We needed iron dust. Which is one, two. And then Osmium, which I feel like I'm definitely not saying correct. We need two of those as well. I'm gonna throw that in there because I don't know what it does. Boom. So I could make it. I'm probably gonna have to space this one out a little bit more because I know the last time I used it, there were so many cables. Like so, so many cables. Um, and then there's a bunch of others, purification chamber, enrichment chamber, which I, th I feel like I made um, an energized smelter. Uh, what is this? An amic tank, which takes steel, which we don't have. Some basic energy tanks, which is fine. I can easily make that. And then enrichment chamber, which arguably I don't want to have to make another one of these, but I can easily make another one of those. But I think for now, that's it. I'm just going to call it because yeah there's a lot of stuff i need to make and a lot of materials that i don't have enough of i feel like i need a lot more um oh shit we got some dynamic tanks nice basic universal cables i feel like we've got more of basic mechanical pipes which is going to be good to convert to to move around and gases and stuff um so i mean arguably Arguably, we can now actually effectively do this. I hope that enrichment chamber, and then we need two of these, and then boom, pressurized chamber reaction chamber is complete. Now I don't know what it does, but it's complete. Oh, I think I do. This makes like the the pellets, I believe. Um, but that yeah, HD HDPE pellets, uh, which substrate which is biofuel which is from pretty much any sapling ever and we do have a bunch of saplings from those trees so it's not we're not losing on that front have so much biomass i don't know what i'm going to do with all these i don't even know what they what they do what they entail oh we have a jetpack uh but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that for now um we still have a couple more on, on these two, the wind generator, the gas burner, the HD, HDPE pellets, and some of the other machines we still have to make. But uh, I'm going to pause it there because what I want to do is I want to mine a ton of coal, of iron, osmium, os, 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 what, however you say it, um, so that I'm in a good place for when we come back in the next episode to essentially continue making a bunch of all this stuff um and then eventually we're going to get to the point where with everything set up and everything moving flowing we can start making the mecha suit helmets and all that good stuff but uh yeah these are these are expensive and first and foremost we need to make sure we have enough materials to comfortably make them which i don't feel like i'm in the position of just yet but that is fine we have a mining gadget we have fortune 3 on multiple pickaxes so we should we should be good to go um as i said that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will definitely be seeing you in the next one
Peace.